Welcome back to the by Goods. We're back with yet another epic universe update. Thanks to Bio Reconstruction again. Uh, gosh, look how much progress has been made on this project. We have, you know, every single week. So let's go ahead and start off with the Dark Universe. Looking at the portal for the Dark Universe, it is continuing to be highly themed and wrapped in scaffolding. This is certainly the farthest along and so far mostly themed of the four portals that there will be. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic, just as fantastic as the manor facade for the e-ticket attraction that will be there based on, uh, rumored to be based on Frankenstein. That has continued to be wrapped in scaffolding and looking fantastic as well. You can see the coaster construction in the village in the, uh, on the side of the picture and the foreground of the picture. And yeah, this land should be wrapping up pretty quickly uh, because that's just... It's, Everything that's in the land you see is already built, so they just gotta have the theming and the the roofs, and then we'll be ready to go for this land to be complete. Fly over the How to Train Your Dragon or Isle of Burke area. You can see the two statues are again still fully painted and ready to go. Lots of rock work is starting to pop up. You see that mesh popping up on the walls, and it'll be eventually the borderline of this creek or this pond area. You can see, even see some of the rock work work or wood starting to be painted there. Something else that's happening is the bridge is getting themed. You can see those wood posts those look like almost look like logs being built, those themed supports, which is awesome when the coaster drives right under the bridge, which would be quite almost like a head chopper moment there. I mean pretty it's pretty close to the uh bridge. Like it's uh, obviously gonna clear it, but I mean that's pretty close to be a, quite a thrilling moment, even though this is a family coaster. And here's a, another look at the bridge, a little bit close look at the bridge and the pond area. You can see the wood wood retaining walls being formed to the right hand side there. And you can see water in the, uh, the lake area, but that is not water that's going to be there permanently. It looks like it just rained during this picture because everything's wet. So they're actually going to probably pump that out until they're ready to go. Viking ships at number three are being installed. And scaffolding still up on the dra uh, the statues, and then you see another ship at four. Be a really cool area, and again that coaster dipping right on the bridge, kind of mantis style, Sea World San Diego. That's what it reminds me of, um, where the after the launch it goes through that kind of that, that turn, almost like a wave turn, and then just dips under the uh, rockwork there. Looking at the roller coaster and its station, you can see the theming is starting to, is definitely continuing continuing to be applied to this station off Eden off even wood uh, wood panels there, which is cool. And the show scene is getting some work as well. The maintenance, maintenance bay looks completely done. And the track work looks to be just about done as well, which is great. And then in the middle, in the center of the picture, you see the Mead Hall, and which will actually also be the coaster exit. That little barn section will be the gift shop and exit to the coaster. And then the major building will be the main, land's main restaurant. And then look, a smaller bridge connecting another portion of the land. And just another quick look at some of the launch sections and our launch equipment being installed and the maintenance bay being, maintenance bay track being covered up. And right here, you get a close look at the show scene and the station being constructed. Um, Looks great. I cannot wait to see the actual the full theming for this coaster. I think this will be a uh, Hagrid type highly themed coaster. So I'm very excited for this. And here is more progress on that mock splash battle attraction. There's the mini bridge being built over that attraction. And I'm sure there'll be a spot of, like some water guns on the bridge for guests to like pay a few uh, a dollar or two and spray guests on board. And you can see the massive conveyor belt where the load and ex the unload and load stations will be for those boats. And look at the looking at the theater where it's highly rumored for the untrainable show to be coming here. You can see the supports for the ceiling of the theater and all that show equipment which will be installed on the top and lighting is getting installed right now. The entire seating area is almost done. There's still a little dirt patch there. There'll probably be some bleachers, but or yeah, eventually some seating, but th that is all done and the stage is going right where that crane is. Good daddling over to the hub. Right now here's the look at the barbecue restaurant looking absolutely fantastic. Even uh, got some windows on there and it's looking almost done. You can see, even see maybe some brickwork or some facade work starting to be installed on there. 
to the foreground there's a couple of kiosks which might be snack stands or, or retail locations um right in front of this main restaurant over here and over here is the entrance facilities we don't haven't really gone over the entrance facilities in previous updates so we're gonna spend a lot of the, the last part of this update going over some of these new entrance buildings that have recently popped up that circular building is going to be a small restaurant cafe type ordeal and you can see the large building that half under construction will be the ticketing services that and then gas relations and all the front uh you know the main entrance stuff is need medical information ticketing services all that good stuff right over here are the iconic arches starting to be installed for the iconic again universal studios archway that will be epic universe's official entry point and again more ticketing buildings and main entrance buildings are being installed to the left of that but yeah here's those big archways these aren't even the tallest ones the tallest ones the foundations for the tallest ones are laid but the supports have not been installed just yet let's look at one of the hubs restaurants again i think that, that i believe that's that small restaurant cafe by the entrance looking fantastic i do not know the rumor name for this but it's certainly going to be space themed and it would be nice as a welcome statement to the entrance to the park. Last day, I know we just did yep, a massive update on Starfall Racers, but there are some new developments from Starfall Racers, and that is that the landscaping is starting to be coming in. Look, we got some trees popping in, and it looks great. This coaster should look absolutely amazing when all its landscaping is done, and landscaping is one of the final portions until completion, so there will be uh, plenty of uh, uh, trees coming in and this thing should be done pretty pretty soon what do you guys think of the short quick epic universe update the new entrance facilities how to train or uh, isle of burke how that's looking uh the classic month or dark universe the landscaping and star for racers let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like this video press that thumbs up and subscribe for more theme park updates and as always have a fantastic or an epic day